Hi there and welcome to a beginner tutorial on using Construct2 for, ma for making games. Um, we're just going to get straight to making our very first platform game and I'll explain a little bit about Construct2 as we go. So first of all, um, when you run Construct2 first up, you should see um, a window like this and maybe another window pops up, but you basically need to create this new project and we're just going to fly through all of these. So there's a whole bunch of um, examples that you can look at um, for running on uh, mobile sized devices and all sorts. Um, if you've got time you can look through those. Uh, we're going to start from empty to make it as simple as possible so there's nothing getting in the way. So if you click on a new empty project and click open you'll be faced with this. Now the interface here is really um, simple. We've got the the game screen in the middle here. Um, we've got any of the properties about anything that you have selected appear on the left hand side. And because we've got just the project selected you can see project information over here. If you wish you can change it from new project to anything you want like I'm going to call mine platform. Platform platformer and uh, press enter. Um, I can also notice here that the window size, um, we'll come back to, to that in a second, but the, the window size is the size of the, the resolution of the window that you see and you can see the little grey lines that go across your screen here and further up that show the uh, the screen that will actually be seen. The, the screen that you can see outside of it is still part of the play area but um, you can't see it at this point. Um, if you hold the um, middle mouse button down while you um, are on this this uh, center view here, you'll be able to move the uh, play area around. If you hold control down and use the scroll wheel, you'll be able to zoom in and zoom out so you can see a bigger amount of the, the screen or a smaller amount um, and zoom into the places that you need to be to work on your game. Um, on the right hand side over here is the uh, the project and you see right now we've got this platformer which I named this project to. You see some some layouts and event sheets and we'll, under, we'll come and show you about a little bit more about these later on. Um, first up we want to try and create um, some objects. Now the main thing that you get inside of the project is sprites. So um, they're the, the basic actors for your scenes. So I'm just going to double click on a space inside this white um, white sheet and uh, I'll get the insert new object menu comes up. Um, there's a bunch to choose from but as I mentioned sprites are the main actors in your scene so if you uh, click on sprite and click insert or you can double click straight onto it. Uh, it'll give you a little cursor here and I'll say where do you want to put it. So I'll aim where I want it. I'm just going to put it in the, about the middle of the screen here um, and it will allow me to open up the the image editor. So um, Effectively, this is um, where we'll uh, draw our sprites or load up our sprites. Um, if you look across the top here, there's a, a load image from file. So this is how you would load something. But we're just going to make a really simple cube just now. So we've got this rectangle here, and we can choose a color. I'm going to choose uh, blue for my character, and I'm just going to make him a little tall block like this. And just so that I can see um, where he is, I'm going to put a little nose on him. He's got a little blue nose, so he's going to know that he's facing in this direction. Um, you can change your colours obviously. Um, the, uh, there's a lot of grey space around the outside of this um, and what we need to do to make sure that the this will actually be used as our collision so it'll bump up against things even though this part is not bumping up against things so uh, the shortcut for that is just to crop the transparent areas so you just click this button and it, and it fits the shape a lot better. Um, so here's our first actor in our scene. If I close this again you'll see it is where I put him. Um, you can drag him around just by clicking your left mouse onto him and obviously you can change his size you can see from these um, buttons across the, the uh, side here so if you click on one of the buttons and make it real small this is going to be we're just going to have a game where this little guy moves around inside of our little screen so we need to make him real small um, and we are ready to test our game and see what happens so right now if you just click up here um, to run the layout um, Chrome or similar will pop up. Um, my window popped up over this side so I'm just going to bring it over. But um, Chrome pops up and you see that it's actually playing inside of Chrome um, right now and it's uh, not a very exciting game so nothing's actually happening. So um, there's this little guy in the middle so I can, I can just minimize Chrome for now or I can close that tab. Um, so what we need to do in order to make this guy uh, behave is to give him behaviours. Um, with him selected you'll see on the left hand side over here that it says um, behaviours and you can add edit behaviours. So I'm going to click on this um, behaviours button and we'll see this window pops up for sprite behaviours. Um, you can add them just by here if you click add new with a plus. 
and you'll see a bunch of behaviors that you can have. We're going to come and visit a few of these, but we're just going to look for the movement ones. And there's things like bullet and eight direction, and there's a platformer behavior, and this is exactly what we want. If we click this and click add, it will be added as one of the behaviors. And you can add more, you can add a heap of them if you want to. Um, right now, this one is the only thing that we need to move. Um, we can close this right now, and we can try playing our game again. So if I hit play, um, again, um, where did Chrome go? Uh, Chrome pops up and we see that the guy, I'll refresh that page, the guy falls straight down so at least he's doing something um, which is a reasonable start so I'm going to minimize this again and we'll just come back and fix that problem so the reason that he's falling down is he's got platform behavior but he's got nothing to stand on so um, what we're going to do is just uh, again we'll just double click to insert a sprite go to sprite double click and find a space to click on um, now we're going to make a, let's make the platforms green, so I'll pick a nice bright green colour, um, click on the rectangle and draw a little um, oops, draw a little box inside of my um, square here. Um, once again we've got this extra space around it, so let's just crop that off so that we've got just a nice neat fit for the platform. So now that we've got that platform we can close that box and we can move it into position and we should be able to um, have a bit more success with our game so let's test it again hit the play button up the top find my chrome and he fell through if I refresh the page you'll see he falls through again and um, if you haven't realized what that was or why that did it it's because that this here is a your your average sprite without any behaviors we don't know how to how it's going to act so over with this platform if we click behaviors again and we do like we did the last time we're just going to click plus to add a behavior and we'll look for some that might fit us so we're looking down here and if I look across to here I see solid um, and that's going to be a real handy one we want this to be, be to behave like a solid object um, so that it's able to um, stop the guy falling so that's only got the one behavior on it solid once again hit play go to chrome and you'll see that this time he lands on the platform. Um, the keys actually move it right left and the up um, arrow key, so the arrow keys move it right left and up and uh, it will be able to jump and move right and left. Um, you'll even be able to fall off but right now nothing happens if you fall off so the game doesn't restart yet and that's going to lead us into the, one of the most important things about the um, construct two, and that is um, the behaviors. So, uh, sorry, the uh, the events. Um, what we're going to do is just quickly. Um, you're going to create a nice uh, level. You can make these platforms bigger or smaller. Um, to get another one, the easiest way is literally just to duplicate this one. Um, and, and the simplest way is just to hold the control button and to click and drag. So if you hold the control and you can click and drag, you'll get another one. If you right click on it, um, you can also see uh, a few more options in there. Uh, you can copy and you can paste once you've done that. So if you wanted to, you could copy and then control V to get them. But but for me the easiest way is just hold control and click and drag so I've got a few platforms that I'm going to jump around on and uh, you're going to make something similar to that and that's the end of the very first lesson